I am back again with another video and as you can tell my hair is curly so I kind of wanted to show you guys if my hair were running back, do I have heat damage, what's going on, so I'll show you that but first I kind of want to tell you really quickly what I did to get my curls back. You're obviously here for that reason so keep watching, it's coming up right now, right? Yeah. I want this to kind of go by pretty quickly so first what I did was I literally spritzed my hair with water. Who my nose is a G. Ugh. Okay. Ooh. I spritzed my hair with water and then I literally loaded the Tresemme Naturals conditioner over that and I put plastic wrap on and I kept it for about an hour, an hour and a half. I was watching TV so I wasn't really paying attention. Then I came back and I rinsed that out of my hair and I shampooed my hair again with the same shampoo I used before I straightened my hair, the one with sulfates in it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will leave the link to that video in the description box below, so check that out. And I shampooed my hair twice. Once just to kind of get the residue out of my hair and kind of twice to make sure, like just to ensure that my hair was really, really clean. After that, I went back and I detangled my hair because you have to remember this was my wash day so I kind of just stuck to my schedule in that way and when it came time to do my treatment I chose this the come on baby Jamaican black castor oil strengthen grow and restore treatment mask so that is the one that I did and I left that it says you can leave it in your hair without heat for 20 minutes max. So I did that and I just hung out and waited 20 minutes and I rinsed it out and then I continued on with my regular wash and go routine, everything I do the same. And I let my hair air dry and this is second day hair. So this is not exactly what I got, but basically this is what I would expect from second day hair. So now I'll kind of move on to, did I get heat damage? And the answer is, Yes. <laughs> no. Yeah, I did get heat damage and I'm really upset about it. Um, I really don't know what I did wrong. Maybe it had to do with the fact that I didn't put enough heat protecting because I did use less heat. So I don't know, maybe my hair is really sensitive. I just know I will not make straightening a habit and I'm really scared to do it again. And I know next time my birthday comes around, I don't know if I'm gonna straighten it again. I gotta find another style to do. So now I'm just gonna give you a close up of my curls and that's it. Basically, you saw that part in the front. This one right here, there's no denying it. That's heat damage. What can I do? I mean, when you straighten your hair and you put heat on it, you're taking a risk. So I'll probably just kind of do some follow-up videos as to what I'm gonna do to kind of get my curls back and get them, you know, more tight because they were a lot tighter before. But I mean, hey, I think maybe in the future it'll kind of go back to its regular curl. <laughs> Except for this piece, this, there's no help in that piece. I might have to cut that one. Um, I think that's it. So if you have any questions, leave them 
down below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. So thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Bye guys.